and welcome back to Glitch Chunk. Today we're going over more Minecraft myths that are fake. So we hope you guys are excited for this video and if you are, make sure to slap that like button on this video and if you guys are new here, make sure to smash the big red subscribe button and turn on post notifications. We post content just like this very video and it would be a shame if you missed out on any of it. Anyways, with all that being said, let's jump right into today's video because this one might shock you guys. An endless world with endless possibilities is the one named Minecraft. This game is one of the best known games around the world. The reason is very obvious. It encompasses several features with different adventures. Mobs like zombies, creepers, skeletons, and other dangerous creatures make the game more interesting to roam around the biomes. Here, with the help of different things, we're going to learn if the selected myths are true or false. Therefore, interesting myths and truths have been tested for the right result, which can enhance a player's knowledge about Minecraft. Foxes can turn water bodies into ice with Frostwalker enchantment. Truth? The myth is not true. As if a player observes the fox after taking it into the water, then he will notice that the fox with the enchantment in its mouth will not turn even a drop of water into ice. Thus, this interesting myth is not true. Hunger and boats. One of the biggest annoyances is that coming with traveling long distances in a Minecraft boat is hunger. As the hunger bar of a player gets lower, they start to slowly lose their ability to sprint and may even die on hard difficulty. To avoid this, wise Minecraft players often make sure to pack some food to keep their bellies full. Since players lose hunger by walking and running, many players jump to the conclusion that rowing a boat must take hunger as well. This is actually a Minecraft myth though, as hunger does not degrade when players are sailing in a boat. This makes boat travel one of the most hunger efficient methods for travel in the entire game. Lava and fall damage. Lava in Minecraft looks just like molten hot liquid, but it actually behaves very differently than water. It's a Minecraft myth that lava will protect and prevent a player from taking fall damage. If a player jumps into a shallow lava, they will take fall damage when they hit the ground. Players are better off using a water bucket or jumping into bodies of water instead. Lava doesn't stop fall damage and it will set players on fire too. So there's really no point in jumping into those hot pools. Fortune Enchanted Pickaxe and Mining XP Fortune Enchanting Pickaxes are fantastic as they allow Minecraft players to obtain more ore and resources from each individual block when mining. Since players receive even more ores with these picks, many Minecraft players also believe that they must receive additional XP from the extra ore as well. Unfortunately, this is only a Minecraft myth. Players receive no more experience than normal when mining with a fortune enchanted pick. Shields and Splash Potions It's a myth in Minecraft that a shield will protect players from the impact and effect of dangerous splash potions. On the surface, this belief makes sense. However, in reality, shields offer no additional protection when being hit by a splash potion. The best thing for a player to do if they're facing a witch or another player hurling these potions is to simply run away and avoid being hit. Or maybe carry a bucket of milk. White tulips and dye color. Many Minecraft players would assume or believe that white tulips can be converted into white dye. However, this is simply not true, as white tulips are converted into light gray dye when placed in a crafting window. Honestly, it's easy to understand the line of thinking that so many players must have with have using this one. Minecraft simply doesn't work that way. White dye is instead acquired from bone meal or a lily of the valley, destroying doors in an unusual way. Truth, the above mentioned myths is true. It certainly happens that if a player breaks any door from the lower part, then the toy is destroyed and the player won't get anything. But if he breaks it from the upper part of the door, then he'll get the same door again. This myth can behave as a tip for the players. Also, that players should break the doors from the upper part to get the door back. But what did you guys think of today's video? Let us know in the comment section down below. And anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching here in Glaze Chunk. We hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like if you did and don't forget to subscribe. Also, watch two videos on screen because I'm sure you'll love at least one of them. And with that, I'll see you guys on the next Minecraft video. Bye-bye!